Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a match between Joan and Soul here in Dothora. Bottom right, it is the Red Terran player Soul, and in the top left, we've got Joan. So, two incredibly skilled players. They're both up and coming in the world of StarCraft 2. Wouldn't be surprised to see them in a uh, GSL uh, semifinal or a quarterfinal. As long as Seoul moves to Korea. <laughs> Alright, so... Reaper hop-up spot being blocked here. Or blocked as well as it can. Not entirely sure about this positioning for Joan, the young Korean player, but... Eh. Who am I to judge? He is better at StarCraft 2 than me, that is for sure. So, it's a PVT. Here on Dethora from Stay at Home Story Cup that was held a few months ago. Do 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 speed zone, speed zones. What you gonna do in a speed zone? Do you think it speeds up like biological processes? Like, do you age faster inside that speed zone or just move faster? Hmm. Okay. Force an SCV off the line. Scouting. Okay, so no double gas. That's. Pretty darn interesting. No hidden tech. And this is not going to be a Reaper, but the probe doesn't know that. So the probe is going to block this for as long as it can. Oh, hang on a second. The probe is brave. The pro Oh, just to say, Yeah, okay. So. And, and oh, ju no, what? The pathing was a tiny bit off. The probe was in position to block, but missed. Are you kidding? Soul got that down. Okay, that was nuts. That was absolutely nuts. <laughs> All right. Well, on the other side, it's a gateway expand. No big deal. Cybercore coming in here too from Zone. But one Rex expand. Oh, with the Reaper on the follow up after the Marine. What an interesting choice that is from Zone. I kind of like it. I kind of like it a lot. I do. Hey, if you ever like, how come Falcon doesn't cast Live StarCraft 2 from Elite players? Well. Tell you what, I do cast with the Africa World event every two weeks out at africatv.com, africatv.com slash laughing games. I was out there, I cast a best of seven between Rogue and Classic. Okay, that was an insane best of seven. Just cast it just a few days ago now. Uh, I'm going to try to remember to put the VOD to that right here. Oh, Reaper hop up spot. Nope. I'll try to put a link to the VOD to that in the description. You can see and watch and listen to me and Laughing Games co-cast that. But it is honestly one of the better 7 game series I've ever cast. And I got to cast it live and no one's ever seen it before. Right? It's not something that was already cast on Twitch for DreamHack or whatever, right? So that's where I am. If you want to see me casting out there, that's what it's got to be. And um, anyway, it's really fun. I do like being out there for a freak so, Reaper getting some nice scouting off here. I guess this we should name this Reaper. You think he's going to die first? I was busy t talking about the Afrika. Oh, gosh. Don't, oh, he's dead. All right. We'll save that Reaper name, I guess. So we got a proxy gate down here from Joan. What the heck is this all about? Fast warpins or something? So, three adepts moving out. It's nothing crazy. Warp gate research is done. Twilight Council coming in. And Stalker. So, a couple Stalkers... And a couple of depths, which... Interesting opening? I honestly don't know what this is. I mean, other than you try to shade up this ramp into the main, and then Soul lifts his supply depot, and then everything's fine, right? Yeah, see, so watch. Shade in, lift, adepts, decide to cancel the shade. Yep, everything's standard here. Stalkers can't really do much to get in here, because there's a bunker, there's extra marines. I mean, until a warp prism's out, or until Blink is done, Blink just got started, too. And a robo just got started too. So I mean this is basically This is basically Joan being like, uh You can't expand, I guess? Like if, yes, trying to come out here outside of the safety confines of the bunker. Uh never mind! We're trying this even with the bunker. Interesting. I mean one adept died real fast, other ones are taking a ton of damage, so never mind. A couple SCVs died that came up to repair, but brrr. Is that worth it for a dead adept and two others that are severely injured? I'm not sure that it is. Interesting. Interesting play. Oh, the Widow Mine out here is too pretty good. Pretty good as well. I like that. K 
Yeah, keep canceling. Third base coming in here from Joan. Whoa, sorry about that. And a robotic spay coming in for them. Colossus. Probably Colossus. Probably not Disruptors, I'd say. And lift. See, Soul's on top of it. He's getting another barracks here. And Cloak Banshee as well. He isn't actually... Oh, no, there's your third base. Okay, he's getting a third. But he's planning on being aggressive with some Banshee stuff. So that's why we need a shield battery and the mineral lines because one Banshee cannot kill probes through the healing given to them by a shield battery. It takes two Banshees to do it. Or, you know, an entirely uh, out of energy... Oh, out of energy shield battery. This is nice, too. This is actually really nice, too. Caught some transferring probes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's no detection out. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There is an observer out now, but five probes go down. Awesome. Super, super awesome stuff. Depths. Once again, let us in. We'd like to scout your stuff, please. Oh! Yo, he didn't lift. It was a trap? I don't know, but some of these SCVs are definitely going to die. Yeah. There's th Oh, there's multiples here. There's four. So they can actually one-shot SCVs. Oh, getting the SCVs building these... Ah, uh, building these barracks is so good, too. And the Adepts kind of make it out. The proxy gets discovered here by Soul, which is interesting. And then the Banshees end up... Okay, just the five kills that we saw. They didn't really didn't get anything else here. Kind of got chased away by the detection available. So Colossus on the way. Got uh, Extended Thermal Lance on the way here, too. Soul is what? Soul is working on Marauders. His expansion has not landed yet. Banshee's moving in. Ooh, I like this. I like this from Sejone, or from Soul. Yeah, yes, beautiful, beautiful. And then the Stalker's murder one that was out of Cloak, unfortunately. But another Banshee makes it out. So five more probes die. So this is 10 probes down and 10 SCVs down. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. And then a Raven popping out to Raven auto harass or auto turret harass here at the third base. But the army is in gen this general location as well. So I think it might be better to maybe sneak around to the nat. Oh, okay, fine. Bop. And yeah, that did not go super well for you, did it? No. So Raven doesn't have an of an enough energy blah, 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 for another turret. But that's cool. Totally, totally super cool. Third base is now landed. It's getting muled. Income is looking like it's favoring Joan, but in spikes and valleys and peaks. Now going into Soul's favor as the third base kicks in and as these mules are working. Because again, mules are great. No kills on this Raven at all. Has the energy for an auto turret, I think, now. How much do you have? Oh, nope. All right. Continuing to back on out right now. Got a Templar Archives on the way here from Joan. And, ah, Raven gets chased down by the Protoss. Third, fourth base coming in here from Joan. And a fourth command center on the way here from Soul 2, but inside of his natural, a little bit more safe. So it's definitely going to be kind of a three Colossus play with a bunch of Blink Stalkers, some sentries for Guardian Shield, all sorts of great stuff that way. On the other side, Souls working on an armory, so his Widow Mines are permanently cloaked and allows him to get access to further upgrades for his Marines and Marauders. As 1-1 one, one is coming in, combat shields almost done. There we go, seven seconds to go on the right side. Thank you, Game Heart Interface, for that one. And army value is 71 to 45, so Soul has a big army value advantage. But Colossus can be great equalizers here. Two Colossus can do a lot of work, with especially with plus one attack to a lot of Marines. Like this. This is a lot of Marines. It's 33 Marines and 6 Marauders. Tanks are a problem for the Colossus too. As they outrange the Colossus. Super duper range on them siege tanks for sure. And yeah, Zone just kind of setting up. He's not really super threatening at all. Just kind of out trying to make sure this 4th base is a little bit difficult to handle. This scouting Marine, he knows. <laughs> this scouting marine too. This is an interesting marine attack heading up the right side from Soul. What is this all about? Either way, this zealot sees it coming. They each see each other here, and uh, I think that was a banshee that got killed back there. I think they both went down. Yeah, two Banshees dead. So, alright, there's a bunch of charge lots here, so these Marines are like, ah, wait, ah, ah, takes so many, so many shots to kill a Zealot with a Marine. 
And Jean getting a fifth base now as well. All right. Hallucinated Phoenix sees. All right, there is a Viking. There's no more than that. There's another one in production, though. And the charge lots, man. They're fast. They will run down your... They're faster with their basic speed with, speed with charge than Marines are when they're stimmed. That is how good these units are these days. Hmm. Observer in a beautiful position to see what's coming out. To see what's setting up here. Right? Oh, that's so good. And Disruptors have been added to the play here as well for Joan. do like the Disruptor. It's a well-designed, beautiful unit. Very hard to handle if you're going with like a Roach Ravager style if you are a Zerg player, but... Terran, better at splitting. Really shouldn't take too much damage from this. I'd be shocked if there are some mass, like more than one, like one or two massive hits here, right? Just because once it turns into a lot of disruptors, it's hard to dodge all of them, but not impossible. Super impossible. Three command centers at a time on the way here from Sol. He really wants to expand a whole bunch, or at least have a lot of orbitals, getting enhanced shockwave for his ghosts. And the fusion core at the same time. And working on, ah, oh, DT Blink. That Dark Shrine finished immediately into DT Blink here as Joan. He likes that upgrade. More hallucinations coming in to see what's up and... At 11 minutes, we're just maxed out, right? That's all we're doing at this point is being entirely maxed out. On multiple bases, four bases for Sol. I mean, Jean is setting up his sixth base right now at the one o'clock position here. And he's got, you know, he's got vision to see if there are any other places that Sol's going to try to expand. This one would make sense. This one would make sense. Oh, what this? What are you doing? Wow, okay. Random War Prism hanging out in No Man's Land gets absolutely ganked. Okay, and then a full meta effect also gets murked. Ooh, oh, yeah, that, uh, that, uh, don't, careful. Okay, so Soul loses an entire command center just through sheer lack of awareness. And that's exactly what Joan was waiting for. He was exactly waiting for that to happen. Took advantage. Bam. So, Joan is just looking great. He is kind of on fire right now. Soul, I don't know if he wants to engage. Disruptors are going to be a problem. Four Liberators at a time being made to try to kind of deal with that problem. They can help. Can definitely help uh, these guys get out here. Alright, so Liberator versus... Disruptor. Ooh, an EMP got tossed down on all the disruptors. That's wow, what a hit. I did not think that Soul would be able to get something like that off, but he did. Meanwhile, Liberator's trying to kill stuff, ends up getting zero kills and taking hits itself. So yeah, charge lot attack into the third base. That bunker goes down very quickly. Yum nom 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 nom. And this tank's in a lot of trouble too. And you have to set up Liberator Circles to try to deal with these Zealots, which is fine. <laughs> but man, they are a little bit hard to deal with. Wow, are we coming up? We're coming up this ramp. Boys blinking in and killing a couple tanks and then backing out. Vikings taking some beautiful hits from the Stalkers here. They try to get rid of them. Colossus can't quite do it, though. And blinking in, uh, blinking in. Uh, oh, tank down, third base in a lot of trouble. Disruptor's taking down the bunker. Eight SCVs die, and Joan doesn't want to stay and fight, but he will. Ah, oh, pretty decent disruptor hit. That's a oh, decent disruptor hit, but of a whiff more than anything else. And then again, zoning, just keeping Soul away. No, oh, blinking in to kill these tanks is not a bad idea. We can sacrifice some stalkers for that. We can absolutely sacrifice a couple stalkers to keep that tank count low. And now Soul is down to 101 army supply to 117. Resources lost here, 9,000 for Soul, 5,000 for Joan. Income, that is skyrocketing. Sky
guy rocketing up towards the other side. Ugh, tank down to purification novas. This oh DT is making sure this base never happens. Hold up. Oh, it's even a planetary? God, this hurts soul. This hurts his soul and hurts my soul. Alright, man, that was extremely quickly well done. Didn't even bother getting rid of the detection at all. And Soul's in a lot of a lot of trouble now. Sure, he lands. I think that's his main... No, his natural orbital? No, I just had an orbital ready to go. So he's got an orbital here uh, to replace his third base very quickly, which is excellent. DT is just making sure there's no sign of Terran at this base at all. And Joan just... He's got a bank. He's got 5,000 minerals, 800 gas. Oh, EMPs and steady targeting. Taking out a couple of those DTs. Ghosts. Not a bad answer. Oh, Jones making carriers. What? I did not expect carriers today. Who makes carriers versus Terran? Well, I'll tell you who. Joan does. Also, Harstum. I think Harstum's the last player I've cast to go carriers. And he went carriers against Maru and I think won the game, if I remember correctly. Which is like, Harstum, you madman. Especially because your opponent has a ton of Vikings. Like, he's got the answer to your Colossus, which is the same answer to your Carriers. I don't know. So, Soul's aware there's Carriers now. He's like, wait, what? What in the name of Fergus McDudson is this? DTs are... Oh, they're going to wait for this to land, and then they're going to kill it. You ready? Ready for these DTs lying in wait? Oh, look. Soul stopped. He's like, wait, hold on. Hold on. All hands to battle stations. Okay, all hands to battle stations for sure. Liberators, defender mode circles, problematic for the ground army. DTs are like, Con okay, fine. If you're not going to land, maybe we'll... Okay, try to engage over this way. Liberator gets wiped out by a carrier here. Jones in full retreat. Soul's like, bring it. I can handle carriers. Oh, these DTs, though. These DTs, though. Blinking in. Ow, 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 ow. EMPs happen and two snipes. Take out a couple of the DTs. The ground army has been greatly reduced thanks to that DT sacrifice. And plus three arrow weapons is on the way here from Soul. 16,000 resources lost for Soul, only 10,000 for the Protoss. <gasps> but look at Soul, he got this base down. The DTs are here to kill it though. They're back. They're back for more. And just kill the SCVs and then kill... Golly, that's brutal. That's a beautiful timing, too, because Joan goes ahead and uh, sets up another attack on the left side to happen at the same time. Simultaneous attacks, blinking in, trying to take down the carriers. There we go, one carrier down. But several remaining. 125 to 68 army supply. Soul is doing not so hot versus the constant DT blinks. No, lift it! Ah! That orbital doesn't happen, and I think we're looking at a Joan win here. The carriers getting a bunch of stuff done. EMPs happening here as well. Another carrier down. Viking count, like I said. The Vikings were created to handle the Colossus. They do just as well, if not better, against carriers, though. My goodness. All the carriers die, but it's not enough. And <laughs> Joan is your winner. All right, hold up. we got to back this up a tiny bit. I guess it's just this, right? He's down to 39 workers. His army value left over is basically Vikings. He's got 11 of those. Eight Marines, three Marauders, five Ghosts. The EMPs are getting some stuff done. Sure. But, I mean, he's got one mining base. The income tab looked like this for the last five minutes. Joan has just absolutely picked him apart today. And he lost his Vikings, and he was very sad, and that was your GG. Wow. <laughs> That was a pretty impressive display there from Joan. Not as good from Soul, but um, I liked the Banshee Harass at the opening. I liked the Ghost play, good EMPs, and some really nice uh, steady targeting snipes on some of those Dark Templar. Those were great. But he was able to kill zero Nexuses today, and he did get 17 probes, which is fine. But he lost 58 SCVs, he lost a Planetary, he lost an Orbital, and three Command Centers. It's just too much. And when basically you're, what, 11,000 more resources lost in an 18-minute game? That's not going to be... It's not going to be a good time. 
Wow. Absolutely. What a fantastic, fantastic display of Protoss, man. Uh, the Terrans are not going to be happy about this one, but again, Jones, a young, up and coming, incredibly, incredibly good Protoss player. He's gonna, he showed up. He's qualified for GSLs already. He's gonna start moving, start moving up these ranks as the old guards start retiring and going to military service and whatnot. Someone's got to take their place, and Jones seems like he's going to be one of them. So great display from him. The carriers, I do not think, paid for themselves. <laughs> but that's okay. I think Jean maybe was trying to gonna try something. I don't know. He was experimenting, maybe. Maybe he was. All right. Well, good stuff. That right there is gonna be it for me today. So this has been the Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II: Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thanks for hanging out. And you stay safe and take care of yourself.